we will be talking about pencils today the video is about mechanical pencils and about uh, you know wood pencils these are two rotary tiki pencils as you can see we will be talking about pencils today now wood pencils as well as mechanical pencils now there's a reason why uh, we are talking pencils this is old friend of mine uh, someone uh, a friendship that goes all the way back to school who is a great collector of mechanical pencils now this gentleman has been correcting uh, collecting mechanical pencils for many many years now and he has got an enviable collection now he called me up the other day and he said ki chom uh, do a series of videos about mechanical pencils and about uh, you know wood pencils because <clears throat> i want to bequeath my collection to my daughter and my daughter being a uh, you know a techie who's doing extremely well this young lady this daughter of ours uh, she is not of course interested in analog pencils and a collection of pencils and things like that and uh, she does not even have time to sit down and listen to her father talk miles about pencils and about our childhood and things like that you know you understand the drift of what i'm trying to say most of us collectors are facing it now he said that why don't you do a couple of videos that so that i can somehow uh, uh, entice her to see them in her mobile or wherever she whichever uh, instrument that she chooses to uh, see them in so that you know maybe hope against hope keeping our fingers crossed maybe she'll get interested so um, when i discussed this with another friend of mine uh, who is incidentally one of the most celebrated ephemera collectors in calcutta and this gentleman is also from our school and uh, here in this case too our friendship goes all the way back to school now he got very excited and he said that you know if you are doing uh, stories about pencils i will uh, let me give you a couple of my pencils so that you can show them uh, in your video and uh, you know talk about them of course this person the first person that i was talking about does not want to be named he does not he is one of those collectors who do not who uh, you know tend to shy away from the public glare who don't want to show their collections who don't want to like come uh, on a public platform or uh, on a program like this and show their pencils or talk about them i'm trying my best to entice him to come over but the second gentleman is of course mr sudip to chatterji like uh, we all uh, know him he is a very 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 friendly very nice gentleman and uh, he was so excited about when we started talking about this he said you must uh, you know show some of my pencils and to be very honest he came and gave me these two pencils these are two rotary tiki pencils as you can see these are uh, rotary tiki pencils and one if there are different kinds of mechanical pencils different kinds different makes and it's a huge 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 world a huge exciting world of mechanical pencils and mechanical pencil collections but uh, i think we should start with rotary because of a couple of reasons number 1 you know before i uh, go uh, any further people say that these pencils are 100 years old they are not 
they are not. Rotaring started in 1919 or uh, 1919, 1920 thereabouts. So Rotaring, the company is, uh, you know, very old, very old. And uh, these are Bauhaus pencils. When we talk about Bauhaus, we tend to equate it to uh, the Lamy 2000, the Lamy 2K. Uh, for Bauhaus de uh, designing, which means uh, form follows function, and uh, uh, but these pencils too are prime examples of Bauhaus design. And as far as I'm concerned, if uh, uh, Rotary was one of the pioneers that adopted the Bauhaus philosophy and the Bauhaus way of designing uh, their products. So these are uh, about uh, 1919. The second thing that has to be noticed about these pencils are these red rings here. You know, you have these red rings. Now, uh, not many people know why these rings are here, but these rings are uh, known as the German red ring or uh, the German rotor ring like they say, which is a symbol of precision. So, uh, the moment you see a red ring here, it means that these pencils are uh, the ultimate in precision, the ultimate in German engineering. And uh, that is why till date, uh, these pencils, they continue to be uh, the you know, the preferred instruments for a lot of professionals like uh, I don't need to talk about rotaring to, you know, uh, 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 an audience that's so well read and so articulate and so uh, serious about your hobbies. So these are uh, rotaring tiki pencils uh, from uh, from, 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 I think 1979, 74 or 79, 79, 1979. These, uh, I think these pencils, they came into being in 1979. This grip section, this uh, particular uh, undulations in the grip section, this is also something that's trademark in these pencils and if you hold them, you will uh, know uh, the ergonomic reasons, the engineering reasons what have bought uh, them here. Uh, even if you don't know and if you don't care, it doesn't matter. Uh, the fact of the matter is that they are a pleasure to work with and write with. Now, these are the two pencils that uh, Sudipto Chatterjee gave. But he gave me another pencil, another set of pencils, a box of pencils. But before I talk about these pencils, I must talk about another friend of mine uh, from school, of course. His name is Sriram. Sriram P or P Sriram or Sriram Palamadai. Uh, Sriram, correct me if I'm wrong, it's been ages. Now, uh, when we were at school, uh, Sriram was a great friend of mine and Sriram used to talk about pencils, wood pencils that were made in Madras in uh, South India and he used to say with so much of pride that these pencils were used to fight the British, that these pencils were part of our uh, freedom movement, was part of our struggle to, uh, you know, break the foreign yoke. And he used to harp on the fact that the pencils had played a major role in uh, making India free, making all of us free. Uh, Sriram incidentally uh, is now based in the United States and Sriram is a great uh, collector of uh, mechanical pencils himself. But Sriram, uh, uh, 
I, I, I think I'm bringing in here, bringing you in here because, of course, of nostalgia. Most of our collections, these collect, collecting hobbies that we have are about nostalgia. But uh, I'm going to show you the pencils that Sri Ram used to talk about. And again, all thanks goes to Sudipto Chatterjee, who has been kind enough to uh, gift me. He's gifted these pencils to me and he's also gifted me this box. This box of pencils. These are, as you can see, V. Perumal Chetty pencils from the Madras Pencil Factory. V. Perumal Chetty was a company that used to, I mean, uh, it started as one company, then the Chetties uh, bought it out and uh, after the Chetis bought it out from the Europeans who had originally started it, uh, this became one of the uh, the focal instruments of uh, uh, the fight for Swaraj. And these were Sodesi products, of course. And uh, these are pencils from our uh, childhood. And uh, let me tell you, it's extremely difficult to get a box like these. Uh, nowadays and uh, especially if the box is full of pencils if the box is still full of the original pencils these are the makers of the Kohinoor pencils we'll show you these pencils and uh, these are some of the most treasured pencils that I have. I also incidentally have a collection of uh, mechanical pencils, not many wood pencils. There are many people who have collections of wood pencils and mechanical pencils. We have talked to some of them and we will be showing you their collections and we will be doing stories about wood pencils and mechanical pencils. But uh, please write, please write to me and tell me whether you want to see these stories because you know it's one thing for me to become so emotional about my childhood friends like uh, Sri Ram and uh, Sudip Toda and others that uh, you know I dedicate uh, an episode uh, to them to their memories to pencils that we have shared to mechanical pencils that we all love but uh, it's it's ultimately about you it's not about us or our friends it's ultimately about you so you have to tell me whether you like these uh, programs and if you would want me to do more programs of this kind so that uh, you know you because your wish is my command you tell me yes go ahead and do it I'll do them you tell me, no, we don't like it, get back to pens and show us pens, we'll show you pens. So that's about it. I won't take uh, any more of your time because we'll need to show you these pencils and uh, these pencils. And uh, unfortunately, uh, these pencils are too precious for me to, you know, cut them and show you writing samples. I cannot. I mean, it, it would be akin to cutting my fingers to write with. But uh, uh, I, I cannot show you writing samples of these pencils. But I'll show you writing samples with my Tiki pencils, of course. And uh, so that's about it. Uh, thank you for being with us. Uh, please like, share and blah, 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 blah. Because uh, we need to go places. And, uh, uh, you know, it hurts when somebody makes clips of uh, movie songs and have a million uh, subscribers and viewers but we uh, with original content and with uh, stuff that we feel so emotionally attached to have a kind of you know this thing but that i guess that's life so what i'll ex uh, request all of you is to please uh, help me grow the channel show it more to your friends and talk about it, write your comments, sh uh, share your brickbats, uh, throw your brickbats at us, tell us how we can improve and uh, that's it. Thank you 
and till we meet again with another episode please uh, stay well and uh, be happy and use your pens and pencils thank you